Hello everyone and welcome back to my crazy adventure. Now it's been a little bit since I've actually played so I'm kind of having to remember what I was doing but I do remember what I did last time. Oh after the fact at least. So anyway let me catch back up to where I am in my head at least and let's get actually where I should be. So now everyone uh, for some reason my FOV is kind of weird. I think it's an F5 mode. Let's actually un F5 and let's actually check this out. It's, it's actually not. Oh, I think I know what it is. My inventory. Let's go over my inventory here, shall we? I said I was going to spend some time off camera and go around with these cloud islands and stuff. And I did that. And you can see from the horrible mess in my inventory. So let's actually, let's get, let's get this chicken off of my hopper. Because that's actually kind of obnoxious to me um, but yeah I have gone around and I have gathered quite a few inventory pets quite obviously uh, let's actually clear that and let's actually load this bar up here let's actually put the chicken here and with some seeds as well because it's actually really useful to have the chicken but I actually have several more as well uh, let's put the fish as well and I need to clear my inventory. We actually have a big berth a bit. So let's put the sea viper tongue in here. And let's clear my inventory just a little tiny bit. Uh, because I ended up with a lot of just stuff. Like just a, a ton and ton and ton of stuff. That shouldn't be... Just shouldn't be here. In my inventory. Uh, is a water dragon scale as well. That also is a bet. Um, but you can see that I also ended up with some extra. I forget exactly where I was keeping um, my snowballs. I, where was I keeping them at? They're not shinies, mob animal, wood chest. We're just going to store them up here because I have quite a bit today. Obviously. Dirt cobble, fancy building blocks, and building materials. What about the soul sand right here? Oh no, no, soul sand's for my wither pet. That's right. Nether quartz should be shinies. I should be building. It's not really dirt cobble. We'll, we'll sort of do that later. But you can see now in my inventory that I have a good bit of new pets. Not all of them, but it's not all that I'm aware of, shall I say. But you see that I have new pets. I now have officially have an ender chest pet, another wither pet, I have a chicken pet, a spider pet, and a, a lovely squid pet. Now that, I really don't need this. There's a reason I'm going to say I don't need this. Well, I actually will probably use this, but I'll, I'll just show him over there. But these right here, I don't think I actually need these. Underwater vision, swim booth, underwater, uh, underwater breathing, sink. I don't really need these. Yeah, I don't, I don't really need these. I mean, the inner chest would be nice, but I don't really think I would need these. We're just going to put them right here for now. Until I have a nice little shelf, because I don't have a shelf for them. Now, on my map, I have a marker somewhere. Let us change into my little dude. Hang on a second. I want to get one more thing before we go. Whoops. I did not mean to warp already. Nice job. Good job. That was kind of foolish. That was kind of foolish. If I so say so myself. That was really foolish, actually. That was a dumb, dumb, dumb move of me. I'm just going to scale the mountain like an idiot. Because I deserve that. I, d I deserve being an idiot on that. We deserve uh, the foolishness of falling down the area. Uh, and having to like manually climb back up. After turning into a person. Um, when, you're fl when you're flying in the middle air. Because I was trying to change uh, my location, and or I, I had changed location, and then I was stupid, and I warped. Uh, I need to grab some nether quartz. 
to read and I had in my inventory. So let's change back into the dragon and let us take the sky. Now, I spent a very, very long time, uh, probably a much longer than I ever expected, looking around for clouds. It doesn't show uh, on any camera recordings and stuff, but it, uh, it took me a long time to find the ones that I found. Um, but yeah, I, I spent a long time doing it until I finally found if it would load the one out here. It's going to take just a minute. I think this is the location. There it is. I'm pretty sure this is it. The reason I came back out here is because I wanted to record this momentous occasion. I'm pretty sure there's a blaze will spawn. Yeah. Yep. Screw you. And in this lovely chest, if this is the correct chest, it's not the correct chest. I could have sworn this was the correct chest. Do you have the thing nearby? I could have sworn that was the chest. Or did it change it? Because I was... Desfund or something? Weird. I marked it. For a reason. I marked that chest for a reason. And now it's not the same chest anymore? That's really bizarre. Hmm. Okay, I did a little bit of warping around and I came to this one that's above the water. Maybe this one's it. Stupid blades. Um let's try this one. This is probably the correct one. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just getting my bearings mixed up. I knew it wasn't too far off of where I have been before. Um, so let's open this chest and see if this is the correct one. If I'll quit getting assaulted by blazes. All right, this. This is what I was waiting to record on camera. The cloud pit. There's a reason. I want to go ahead and collect the rest of the crap out of the chest as well. Um, so you can see I've left some chests, uh, because, fuck, why do I want this crap? Uh, so yeah, there, there was my pet. I actually marked the thing. I didn't mark the, this cloud itself. So yeah, that is the thing that I've been doing. Alright, now what's so brilliant about me marking that chest? is you can see that I'm becoming a person again. This is what I have been wanting. You can see that it says fast flight, right? You can see that it wants nether quartz, right? Well, guess what I can do now? Screw morph. I no longer have to use morph ever again. Uh, because now I have creative style flight. Uh, and I will no longer have to become the babby dragon. Ah, uh, see, I've got this one. Um... Some of them I just left. Some of them I got. It depends on what they were. But yeah. So now, I'm good. I'm set. But that was a thing that I was waiting for forever. And I can also right click it. Cause lightning to come down. And it'll eat. I can save a charger creeper if I want to. But anyway. Um, that's what I wanted to record me finding because I did have one. I was like, why could I find it in this chest? I could have put on Mark's chest. I just went to the wrong one. But it's really not that far from my house. Um, my house is just right this way somewhere. If I look at the map. Because it was right here. My houses are this way. House marks. Uh, there's a town. My house marks are this way. My world is not loading. Uh, it's because I got render distance like turned up too high. Uh, I'll just load music and volume for render distance. Let's turn it down nine. And 
then we'll head back to the home. We will actually just tab on over. We'll hit right there. Let's spawn. And forest. Spawn. We found the right marker. Oh, here we go. My house. But yeah, what's brilliant now is I don't have to use morph again. I don't have to use morph ever again. I don't have to worry about when I'm flying, uh, not being able to open chests, and all that lovely goodness. Because that was getting kind of on my nerves. It's not being able to open chests and fly at the same time. I, I don't know. It's just, it just was bothering me. Um, so now I don't have to do that. Uh, I now have the crab pet, and we're good. All right, so let's store this other crap that I've gathered. And let's start working on the next thing on the work today. It's time to get a new weapon. Guys, it really is. You're like, but but why? Why do you need a new weapon for? What? Why do you want a new weapon? You have a good weapon. I do have a good weapon. I have a really good weapon. But I want a better weapon. I want an epic weapon. I want such a good weapon that... Every mob will bow down before me. Like seriously, I just put I just put the spider. It's fun. Um, I could actually leave the chicken here. That way I could fly super fast as well. I have like super speed uh, everywhere. Um, but it's so that means it's time to start working on collecting these pieces. So I need to make three pieces. I need the birth of blade hilt and the blade hilt. And handle is that right? It's big Bertha. I'm gonna start working on the big Bertha. Is what I want to make the big Bertha, the big B. I need this to make the big B. I need the handle, the guard, and the blade. I need the big hammer, which drops from something as well. I think that drops from a Hercules beetle, doesn't it? I don't remember. The freaking ray gun, which dropped from a boss. Uh, the mantis claw, which drops from a boss. The water skull drops. The green goo, drops from a boss. Mola noise, sea monster scale, jumpy bug, moth, basilisk, nightmare, emperor scorpion, and um, kraken, worm tooth, vortex eye, t-rex, ultimate sword, caterpillar, and sea viper. That's brilliant. If here's some of it. What's other brilliant? Is what the crap has has my bunny crapped out? I don't know yet. I'll have to sort through it. But we need... <clears throat> I really need to get a notepad out. I really do. Um, so I'll keep track of this. Because I don't remember all this. Because there's a lot to remember uh, on this. So let's get a piece of paper right here. So I can keep track of what I need. I need the gun. Quite obviously. The gun. The hammer. Uh, we have the gun, which is awesome. I think we got it in a chest, didn't we? We need the claw, which we have. Um, we need the water dragon scale. The scale, which we have. We have the water dragon scale. And we need the goo, which we do not have. And that's for the guard. For the handle, we need the the nose from the molanoid. Molanoid. There is a zombie inside my house. How did you get inside my house exactly? Did you just walk in, exactly? I guess you just crawled in my house, didn't you? Hmm. He came all the way in my house from somewhere. Hmm. Sorry, I got distracted by the zombie. That was interesting. Uh, so the molenoid knows we need to see about finding the hammer. The hammer, uh, where does the hammer come from? Hang on a moment. Okay, the hammer comes from the Hercules beetle, which should be in some of my, on my chest here. Let's see, do we have the Hercules beetle? Do we have a Hercules beetle? We do indeed. Have a Hercules beetle. 
So that can be done very easily. And we need a trifid. A trifid. Not there next to it, in fact. That's kind of creepy. So we can get the goo. So we can get one piece of it right now. That's brilliant. So that's one piece that we can make of the thing by having just the spawns and the items that we've collected through different means. Now there is another way we can do it. We can use the yield lucky blocks and we can manage to get it that way. So we also need a molanoid, which I know I do not have. Molanoid. So let's see if we got a molanoid spawner. We do. So that would give me the nose of the molanoid. And then we need to set up Big Bertha again. Big Bertha. So we need to get a moth scale. We have tons of moth scales. Uh, moth scale, which we have. Uh, we need a nightmare scale. Nightmare scale, which obviously is from a nightmare, which I'm pretty sure that I have a thing. A sea monster stir scale. So we'll see about getting that. So let's look for a nightmare. Nightmare. There's a nightmare. That's nightmare, exclamation, 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 exclamation. Do we have any other non exclamation, 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 exclamation nightmares? No, is that the only exclamation, exclamation, exclamation? Whatever. It looks whatever. Uh, any difference? No? Okay. So we have the nightmare, and we should look for a sea monster. Sea monster. And sea monster. See so what's brilliant about this? This is why I wanted the Easter Bunny, because now I'm slowly making the pieces for Big Bertha by just having the Easter Bunny. And we'll be able to slowly uh, have everything. We should have the Basilisk Scale and the Emperor Scorpion Claw uh, Scale, or whatever this is. And we should have a Jumpy Bug. A uh, jumpy bug. So I need a basilisk, a jumpy bug, and an emperor scorpion. Basilisk. That's only basilisk I have. It's crazy. Uh, emperor scorpion, imp scorp. I have no imp scorps. You seriously have no emperor scorpions? Empty creative pages. Okay, so that's going to be our issue right there. We have no Emperor Scorpions. We may have or spawn, spawn eggs for Emperor Scorpions. Emperor. Emperor Scorpions. Yeah, we don't have any Emperor Scorpions. So we cannot do the... Big Bertha quite yet. That's depressing. Let me check one more time down in these chests. I guess I may need to turn my dude back going because we do not have an Emperor Scorpion. I'm absolutely surprised that we have yet to have an Emperor Scorpion. That's the first one we have encountered um, that we do not have in here. So Jumpy Bug. We have Jumpy Bugs. Okay. Uh, so we can do jumpy bugs, but we do not have emperor scorpions. So we have one piece missing. We do not have an emperor scorpion. I know where to find emperor scorpions if I go to the dimension and that has the dungeons. Uh, they are in the cages underneath. Uh, so that's interesting to note, I guess. Uh, the Bertha. And then we needed the blade. Ultimate sword is quite obviously the easiest. So, and obviously I got an ultimate sword. So we need a Kraken Tooth, a uh, Kraken Tooth, uh, we need a T-Rex Tooth, a uh, T-Rex, which I have the tooth, we need Caterkiller, a uh, Caterkiller, uh, I've yet to kill the Caterkiller, how's that, have I, uh, a Worm Tooth, uh, the Ultimate Sword, we, Sea Viper, which I recently got, and the Vortex. Vortex eye. And so I need a Kraken tooth. Let's see if we got, let's see if we got a Kraken. Can we spawn a Kraken? 
we cannot spawn a kraken. I guess we'll also with krakens we'll have to spawn them the old fashioned way. We'll have to look up on spawning a kraken. Dungeon beasts, birds, and the ants. Okay. So kraken and we'll have to caterpillar. Let me spell it at least in a sense that I can actually hunt it down. There's the caterpillar. And um, so I can do the caterpillar, and then I need worm. Worm. Uh, I guess I need the large worm, I'm pretty sure. And so I can do the worm. And then the vortex. Which is which is right here. Okay, so these are the monsters I need to fight other than the Kraken and the Emperor Scorpion. So the Emperor Scorpion and the Kraken. So those are the things I need to find elsewhere. Not too bad. We still have quite a bit more to go on them, so there's still a good bit left to do. So that's no big deal. So let's clear this so I don't have that highlighted. But we have all these to do. Now, the deal is, where shall we fight them? That's a good question, isn't it? I decided to make some type of arena somewhere. But the deal is, where shall we set up and fight the arena? Um, I think the sun's going down. Yeah, we are. The sun's going down. So let's actually set a chest. We're actually going to set these spawn eggs in here. Because these are the things that I will actually need. So these, they may, may not be the items yet. But they are the monsters I need to kill to get the items. Which is lovely. Um, so I've got, even though I don't have killed them, they, they are there. We're gonna actually go ahead and pull out the two extra mantis claws and actually fill in these slots with the eggs because I don't like the way they were set up so that we don't have so many annoying extra things going on here. So yeah, it'll look better in the long run. So the deal is, let us go up to the bed and let us scout out a lovely location to fight the monsters. If I can sleep. I don't know why I couldn't sleep there for a second. Is it because I was using a torch? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I guess because I'm in speed, it was making me glitch or something. But I was actually thinking because a lot of these monsters, some of these monsters are kind of annoying. I say kind of. Uh, I thought about doing it down here. In this area somewhere. Like, I don't know exactly where yet. But I thought about doing it down here somewhere. Like, I thought about maybe bunching out this wall and this wall and this wall. And maybe somehow tunneling out this area a little bit more. And then, I don't know though. I don't know exactly how to do this yet. Maybe just encasing an obsidian and making a giant place for moths to die. Because the nightmare is literally a nightmare. Uh, and they fly. So I don't really want to have to fly and fight monsters. You know, I don't want to have to fight a caterpillar in an area where, you know, there's a caterpillar can jump around. Uh, or I can make a glass roofed actual arena. I think it would look really cool to have an above ground arena better than an underground arena. So I may go upstairs and see where the best place would be. Because I actually am going to start witchery as well. So that's a thing. I'm gonna do that off camera as well. I'm gonna build, obviously build the I build the thing off camera. But I'm actually thinking of building the arena. Do I want to build the arena down beneath me here? Or do I want to make this my witchery area? So either witchery here, or arena here, or arena here, or witchery here. I kind of like the idea to make the arena here. And then I could build like fake stands right there to overlook the arena. 
And this could be like the VIP box right here. I mean, it mainly for decorative purposes anyway. It's just not that big of a deal. It'd be mainly for me to fight the actual mobs in. I mean, be mainly building it off camera, quite obviously. Uh, but I want to. I kind of want to do an obsidian base. I have to get rid of some of the trees, and for the caterpillar, we'll actually actually put the cover in and maybe use some decorative things in it as well. So, hmm. I think this is a bet. I think this is the spot because the tree does take up a lot of area. And I think that was a good place right here. Because let's just imagine. Imagine this being the VIP box with red carpets and all this stuff overlooking the arena. And right here, I could have like a, a cage built into the mountain. That's where the mo uh, monsters could be caged within. Even though maybe they won't be caged within. I may put like a monster inside there and actually like name it or something. And I can be with a monster, kind of pet monster. <clears throat> And that could be the cage of the monsters, monsters lair, and we could have the seating over there to overlook the battle. I think that'll be cool. I think that'll be cool. So yeah, this will be the this will be the arena. So I have to get work on that. We'll be working on that a little bit off camera, and I can incorporate this in there as well. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that is awesome. So I will have to get started on that. It shouldn't take me too long. I'll try to get the base structure built first. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to get all of it built. Like, I won't worry about the decoration bit first. I'll get functional first. And then I will get the decoration bit later. And whereas, I'm going to get to, like, some of the sides up. It'll probably be mostly cobblestone first. It'll be mostly cobblestone to begin with, and then I'll decorate it out later with actual pretty awesome obsidian. I should do obsidian just as easily because the, the table, the equivalent exchange, I can just build it out with it. So, excuse me. Hey, 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 you. Da. So, yeah, it's not like I'm going to be hurting any if I build it completely out of obsidian right out of the way. Just because I'm in, I've messed up I'll have to build it. I'll have to like break it and stuff. As long as I don't mess up it's fine. Uh, and we have chisel I think as well. Yeah. I just can't build it out of wood because of the caterpillar. If I fight the caterpillar obviously the caterpillar is a pain. But the only one I can't be able to fight is the kraken. Yeah, I just want to be able to fight the Kraken. So that's a downer. But yeah, I'll just build with the terrain, except I'll kind of like build over it. Like, I'll, I'll just, instead of like trying to flatten this area out and make it pretty, I'll just like build a circular. It's going to be circular. I'll build like a circular area. I'll find like the center of this, and then I'll like build out to the center of that, and then I'll like build from there. Yeah, I'll figure it out. But yeah, I'm going to do that off camera. So I'll get that arena set up off camera and next time we'll be fighting some of those monsters hopefully not dying we shouldn't we should be fine we have a lot of uh, equi uh ultimate gear and ultimate swords and stuff like that we should be okay uh with that so if we can get all the pieces except for the kraken tooth and the uh the other thing the emperor scale and the kraken tooth will be good because kraken tooth we could figure out how to get it. I'll figure out how to get the other two pieces, and we will see about them. Uh, but yeah, we will make the oh, nice little arena for me to fight the bosses in, and we will then. As I said, I'm gonna start some witchery, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I wanna get the. I wanna get the big Bertha. I really wanna get the big Bertha. I'm gonna do. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed watching me sort through my creatures to get ready to make the. Big Bertha sword. Soon we'll have the Big Bertha. Soon. As soon as I can get all the pieces, um, we will have enough stuff for it. It's a dragonfly here. Got it. Isn't that cute? Uh, but yeah, that's all for now, and we'll see you next time. Bye!